Park in Atlanta with their burnout. Mark Osborne on the far side going against Daryl Alderman, who's had such a terrific campaign thus far. But meanwhile, we've got a problem back in the pit area that may affect Corey McLenathan in the top fuel final. Let's go to Steve for the update. Gary, unfortunately, back pain is a common problem with top fuel drivers. Sudden acceleration, sudden deceleration. Corey Mack is in pain. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm going to be okay. It's just one of those things that happens. Usually I'm at home doing nothing or lifting stuff when it happens, but this time it's bad timing in a racetrack, so I'm sure once they start the car up, I won't feel a thing. NHRA's Dr. Brown in here with some physical therapy. You'll be there. The after effects of that heavy G-loading Steve was talking about at the start line. 2,750 pounds, including the driver, gasoline in the tank, carburetors on top of a 500 cubic inch motor. That's the ultimate factory hot rod pro stock. Final round. A flame out on the ultimate car. This is a stunning surprise. Mark Osborne has his first ever NHRA pro stock finals victory. And what happened to Daryl Alderman at the line? Well, look at the right side of the screen. Keep an eye on the air scoop. A sudden burst of flame as it backfires through that scoop. ABC Sports coined the term decades ago, the thrill of victory. And I think that describes it, Mark. Yeah, it's sweet. I've been here three times and I ain't never got a victory and I'm really pumped up. Your driving really got you here. Yeah, the, this pro stock stuff, it's close. If you're going to win, you got to drive. And you're the only guy maybe in a long time that's taken out both the Dodges in one day. Yeah, it seems like when I get those hard guys like Warren and Kurt and the two Dodge boys, it seems like if I run one of them, I can get both of them. I'm just tickled to death. Go celebrate. Thank you. And for the first time since the U.S. Nationals last September, Team Mopar, the Dodges, have been beaten. Alderman still at the top of the list with his teammate Jeffrey on second. So now we're ready for the showdown in Funny Car. The two men who dominated the championship point standings through the 90s. Cruz Pedregon in his Pontiac Firebird and the Castro Pontiac of John Force. We've got apples and apples here. Two well-financed teams, two great crew chiefs, two brilliant drivers. The only real difference is, as he was when he was driving that over-the-road truck, John Force is owner-operator. So the domination of Force at Atlanta continues, and for a fourth consecutive year, John Force is winner of the Pram Nationals. You can see at the start line that Cruz Pedregon immediately lost traction, a huge column of smoke. That was the opening that Force needed, and he breezed to the victory. Career win number 45, his 40th in the 90s. He's now with Steve. Forrest, you're shooting at ducks or something here. A spark plug came right through the body. That's the wire. Shows you how good them uh, Autolite spark plugs are. They're just throw them out, just run on the other eight or seven. How many's the guy? You didn't, you didn't beat yourself. That's the important thing. <clears throat> nah, I don't know what happened. I heard her clicking when she come off the end. She's trucking really good down. Did she run any good? 517. That was a very quick hey. stage up there. He staged hey. very quickly on you. Don't mess with my buddy Cruz. He'll, he'll do damage to you. <laughs> John Forrest. Continuing his dominance in 1995 has stretched the advantage now over Pedregon to better than 100 points. Meanwhile, the top fuel finalists are now waiting their opportunity. The intensity comes from the eyes of Ron Caps. X engineered for greater protection against breakdown. Mopar Chrysler Corporation parts and the dealers who sell and install them. And Bram oil filters. Bram, you can pay a little now or a lot later. One race remaining in the Fram Southern Nationals from Atlanta. It's the top fuel finale. It's Ron Caps going against Corey McLenathan. Well, just who is Ron Caps? Maybe Steve has the answer. Do you know how tough it is for a young driver to pick up a quality ride like the Roger Prem car out of Reno, Nevada? I can tell you it's tough. In fact, Prem had 20 names on his list. Most of them were qualified, very experienced drivers. At the bottom was Ron Caps who had only driven an alcohol car a few times last year, had never driven a nitro car. But on New Year's Eve, Ron Capps got the call. Obviously, Roger Prem saw something in this young man that he liked, and it's paying big dividends. You only had, what, three runs in this car full power coming into Atlanta? That's right. But two of those were over 300. That's right. Are you a little nervous? I'm That's very right. <laughs> I'm very nervous, Steve. We'll let you go. Good luck. Imagine. 
the pressure he must be feeling. And it was clearly etched on his face. Pressure on Mac too. If he loses, it's like the 49ers losing at home to Tampa Bay. But there'll be no upset today as Corey McLenathan gets his first victory of the 1995 season, and he was nearly at 300 miles per hour in the process. The replay shows nearly identical reaction times, but not a hard launch for Caps. And you could see the motor going away at the end. McLenathan, meanwhile, remember the problems he had earlier with a bad back? Well, I wonder how that back's feeling right now. A victory may be the best pain reliever there is. You came into this car like you had a spring in the seat. I don't feel any pain now, I'll tell you. Lee and the guys did a great job. I want to thank all the fans for hanging out, coming on Monday to see us. And the guys did a great job. I'm just driving it. Thanks a lot. I might pat you on the back, but uh, it could hurt. I'll do it anyway. Yeah, it'll hurt later on, but right now, who cares? Corey Max, first one of the season. Well, coming to Atlanta, Corey McLenathan was six in points. Right now, he's second. He's closed to within 55 of Larry Dixon. So we extend our congratulations to McLenathan, John Force, and Mark Osborne, our winners here in the Fram Southern Nationals. Our next ABC telecast, the Spring Nationals from Columbus on June 25th. For Steve Evans and Frank Hawley, I'm Gary Gerald. So long as we relive some memories of Atlanta.